classic Doctor Who fandom, always seeing patterns and things that aren't there, this Twitter account just came out of nowhere a couple of weeks ago and has been turning some heads online. This is the Cybus Industries official uh, Doctor Who Twitter account. Um, and no one has officially claimed ownership of the account, but it's been doing some really interesting, like, viral marketing. Turn your back on weak, woke emotions. Upgrade today from Cybus Industries. We say no to woke, weak emotions. Uh, and there's also Elon Magpie. Nothing woke about this ride. We're proud to have partnered with Elon Magpie on his own new electric vehicle. You're eligible for a 35% discount if you joined our upgrade program. Manufactured by Cyberman in Emotion Free factory a uh, word from our uh, advocate and commercial partner jeff bezos our employees who have upgraded with cybus enjoy a better quality of life they can work for longer to bring more money home for their families they don't need to spend a fortune on health insurance and they don't need the misery of a bathroom break um <laughs> <laughs> live now president trump has publicly supported second amendment rights to those who've had their upgrade president trump cybermen need guns this is a tucker carlson clip um uk parliament um petition woke politicians and activists want to gatekeep firearms etc elon magpie uh doctors a thing of the past upgrade today this is about the rail strikes in london um some really interesting and fun stuff first person to receive cyber industries upgrade interview from this morning and it's pearl mackie in the thumbnail five years ago today ordinary canteen worker bill potts received the world's first upgrade in our lottery bill bravely paved the way for the future of the catering industry with a record-breaking 63 percent uptake in mandatory and non-mandatory employee upgrades since 2017 upgrades uh, equal equality vandals to face cyber industry stew posters all of this stuff is like just from only from a couple of days ladies will love your upgrade involuntary celibate no problem studies show one in four women are more likely to be attracted to a man who's upgraded what's this asterisk at the bottom study conducted by cyber industry on a sample size of four it's it's it keeps on giving it's terrific um yeah so at cybus indus uh on twitter it's got nearly five thousand followers um and some of it's cutting as well some really interesting social satire can't afford to heat your home save thousands per year on your energy costs upgraded individuals don't suffer in cold environments it's mad um so yeah all of this um complimentary airpods that's a second. We offer complimentary AirPod Pro for your family and friends when you upgrade. It includes its 55% collection for your data collection agreement. Um, yeah, International Electromatics, which is a reference to the invasion. We're voting for your future. Wasting time and money on hot water. Photoshopped images of the Cybermen in front of CyberDog in Camden Market, etc, etc. And then they've even got law elon magpie to propose cybus industry buyout magpie submits record-breaking 2.1 trillion bid for cybus industries buyout uh there's also anti uh, anti-vax stuff here as well there's also a cybus industries website and they had a countdown timer and this story broke on their youtube channel and i've not watched this yet this is the day i have been dreading for three and a half years Every once in a while, a revolutionary company comes along that changes everything. And Cybus has been, well, first of all, let me say, one is very fortunate if the average person has heard of their business. We have been very fortunate. Listen, in 2018, we introduced the upgrade. It didn't just change Cybus, and it didn't just change the way we can live our lives. It altered the very course of humanity. Steering this great ship over the last 10 years has been an honor and a privilege. Wait, does anyone recognize this the guy? Is this like the artifact? YouTuber personality Breakthrough or something like that? Know, about a fan expanding actor. our vision for what it means to be human. Looks good in a suit, though. Everything. But today's vision by our shareholders to accept Mr. Magpie's offer is disappointing. There's a grand vision for the future I want to share with you. It's got your but that I cannot man is from Fiverr. do that. That would be a good way to total executive make control this work, though. of Cybus Industries. Fiverr. This is why today I must. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you breaking news. 
electronics magnate Elon Magpie has died. What? Following what is believed to be an unfortunate accident during his visit in London to Cybus Industries headquarters. A spokesperson has reported that Mr. Magpie fell from the 63rd floor of building through a window undergoing routine maintenance. The accident. What? A window undergoing maintenance? It's a. <laughs> what? Only hours before Mr. Magpie was due to sign a deal assuming control over the trillion dollar tech company. We'll be bringing you the latest updates on this story as they follow. This now, has production values. With the latest from London. Listen, the unfortunate and untimely death of Mr. Magpie has not only deeply saddened us at Cybus Industries, this news has rocked the world. For over 60 years, Magpie Electricals have been at the very forefront of technological advancement and innovation. His company has improved countless lives across the world. Let me promise you, a okay, so full investigation into this accident will be launched, and we will be working with the British authorities at every single stage. In the meantime, I will continue on as the CEO of Cybus, and it'll be business as usual. International Electromatics enjoyed record-breaking profits. That's mad that this is a, what could be like a fan campaign. When anyone came in the chat says RTD must be involved. No, because it's, it's Joker logic, isn't it? What's the, what's the Batman comic story where the Joker's like, wait, I, wait, like, I've, someone's done all of this stuff you really think that i'd do this and not let you know that it was me like th i think that's the logic that russell t davis would go for here so what's the law here so elon magpie uh, has a 2.1 trillion dollar offer to buy cybus industries and then he mysteriously dies after falling from the 63rd window or oh, there's another video Mr. magpie has not only deeply saddened us at cybus industries this news has rocked the world for over 60 years, Magpie Electricals have been at the very forefront of technological advancement and innovation. His company has improved countless lives across the world. Let me promise you, a full investigation into this accident will be launched, and we will be working with the British authorities at every single stage. In the meantime, I will continue on as the CEO of Cybus. And it'll be business as usual. So yeah, we've got an online, what seems to be some sort of online viral marketing campaign. We momentarily experienced a minor technical difficulty. This has been resolved in record time. So yeah, <laughs> this could be you this summer. What's holding you back? And it's yellow speedos on the, on the Cybus, man. So yeah, are you beach body? This is so clever. And the right to bear arms, Second Amendment upgrade, paint the town red. Somebody mentioned like they don't know if this is anti-progressive or like pro-progressive. Honestly, I think you have to be pro-progressive to understand the satire at play here. That it, What's interesting though is that I've, um, w when I did my Cyber Sember, marathon back in 2020 uh, back in 2020 i did my own pitch for a cyberman story and it's like yeah like we're gonna like use an authoritarian government to make the population so miserable and so depressed that we kind of force them to go upgrade so they can't feel the boot on their neck anymore and whoever is behind this campaign might have been taking notes from that pitch that i did and if that's the case whatever the end result of this is i want an executive producer credit at the end of this thing okay that's i don't ask for much i'm a very reasonable hootube live streamer so yeah I, I think that the fact that they have such like the finger on the pulse of these issues and when it's like oh we uh, we get rid of woke weak emotions that's like the current actual conservative party politics line like if you if you read their statements and if you see them at, like, at interviews and that and they're talking about getting rid of wokeness and that like it's kind of scary that gamergate rhetoric from 2014 is now just like common conservative political talking points now in 2022 but this is the terrible future that we live in teachers are entitled to additional upgrade benefits like this is like a, this is genuinely a really good photoshop like if this is just um like we've put a cyberman between these two kids this whoever's doing this is very very good it it could be for a fan series it could be for um it could be for the next series who knows at this point though i'm all here for like figuring out what is going on 
Yeah, this is really interesting. And the fact that they also have law and actors involved. Um, because they said that um, someone in the chat said if Rusty Davis was involved, they would have got actual actors. And as far as I'm concerned, the guy in that video is an actual actor. He just happens to be on Fiverr, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, let's go on the YouTube channel as well. The Cyber the Cybus Industries YouTube channel, four hundred and seven subscribers, uh, and they've just got the one video which has been viewed nearly six thousand times. Latest news and innovations of Cybus Industries and its subsidiaries. So yeah, they they set up a, a YouTube channel. And then on that day, dropped this breaking news video. That's really interesting. Rob, well, surely it won't. Um, it just won't be official with things like Elon Magpie. Maybe. I don't know. It's probably not official, but it's probably in the lead up to a fan series, or it's just a fun bit of online lore, which I honestly respect that. But yeah, say no to weak, woke, and wasteful emotions. Upgrade for free today. I look forward to following the Cybus Industry stories. It's not following anyone, but it's nearly got 5,000 followers. So yeah. Gurkaman, apologies for implying five right design actors. They totally are. I mean more well-known actors. Oh no, I completely get what you mean. They, they'd cast someone from Spotlight or something. They wouldn't use Fiverr because uh, that would be probably like a breach of... Um, of like screen actors guild rules and stuff wouldn't it to like do something for the bbc and then all of a sudden oh no we're going to use fiverr instead that's that's not cool um but yeah i know i, I completely know what you mean vegan silent green my guess is fan series surely it's too early to promote the 60th and series 14 the bbc might not want terms like woke in their promos i would be amazed however if there is like a political allegory episode for the 60th anniversary or series 14 that doesn't draw mention to woke like that's probably gonna happen because that's just Russell T Davis is following these conversations as well. 